Good morning and welcome once again to, to WebFG. With us today is Ron Schelling. He is an independent FX trader. He's been operating in the market since 1983, just when FX trading was starting to be born. Uh, Mr. Schelling, good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, you've been in the market since 1983. That's correct. You've just about seen it all. Yes. You're a very, very, very much a veteran in the markets. So I think you can give us some very interesting insights. The first insight which, before the interview we were talking, is approximately what percentage of intraday traders, I believe it is, would you think, a little bit off the cuff, lose money when tra attempting to trade in FX markets? Uh, what I see and hear is uh, it, for amateur traders, yes. not a profession, mm -hmm. uh, I think they're losing uh, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, yes. extremely high. Uh, for some time, and then the account will be empty. I see. Okay. Um, spread trading. Yes. That's your specialty. Uh, I think so. How come? Uh, I think I survived with spread trading because uh, uh, stops are very expensive. Mm -hmm. I tried to find uh, at that time uh, another way to avoid the expensive uh, stops. Right. Okay. And uh, I'm happy with a little less risk, mm -hmm. but also less profit. Okay. So the way to make money is little by little, not being greedy. Correct. Okay. You're also an ex-military pilot, mm -hmm. military aviator. Yes. Um, you say that that has given you some critical skills when trading. What I are they? I think looking back all those years, mm -hmm. I survived by small positions, mm -hmm. uh, spread trading, mm -hmm. and uh, discipline like using in an airplane, mm -hmm. uh, follow the checklist exactly, okay. and not deviate to something else. Okay. Uh, would you say a little bit like flying, FX trading, you're going very fast? Uh, I can talk an hour about flying, maybe two hours, but uh, I flew a lot of airplanes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all about discipline, 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 not okay. systems or whatever. All right. And uh, if you deviate from any discipline, you go wrong. Okay. It's the same with, uh, with any trading. Mm -hmm. It's not the indicator, it's the discipline, small positions in the beginning. Okay. We talked a little bit about emerging market currencies. And you drew an analogy, specifically when we're talking about the Brazilian real. What was the analogy? I forget. Uh, I have not uh, a lot of experience in uh, in uh, carry trades, mm -hmm. but uh, like the uh, emerging markets, mm -hmm. to me, it's dangerous. It's more like a casino. A casino. But uh, maybe I can go wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm wrong, but uh, uh, my experience is minimal. Mm -hmm. But looking to those currencies. Well, you, you see what happened. Mm -hmm. okay. You can go uh, broke within uh, within one night. Right. Okay. If you are unlucky. Very serious. Definitely dangerous. Yes. Also, we were talking before the interview. You were running me through one of your strategies. Yes. If I know it's very complicated, but perhaps if you could give our viewers a, a taste of exact more or less how it works, and then if they're more interested, perhaps they can contact you or go to your website, your blog. Uh, yes, so what I do is when uh, I, I'm, I'm ranking the strengths and weakness of currencies, okay. when I see the strongest one correcting for the first time, mm -hmm. I go short. This is looking at the RSI. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and I'm looking to the weakest at that moment mm -hmm. to hedge the position. Uh -huh. So I'm, uh, I'm aiming for not a full profit, mm -hmm. but also not a full risk. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go out when they come together. Mm -hmm. For this kind of strategy, what are your favorite currency pairs? Uh, the major currency pairs, mm -hmm. because of the cost. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the others are too expensive. Mm -hmm. okay. All those uh, uh, weakness and strengths mm -hmm. are done by me on a daily basis, not intraday. Mm -hmm. Do you provide these to your readers or your clients? You uh, share this? No, no, no. It's just... Uh, it's just, uh, uh, I explain sometimes to people, but uh, uh, my work is trading real money mm -hmm. and not uh, making a website or whatever. Okay. And then finally, please, uh, with your just over three decades of experience in financial markets, if you had to give one single piece of advice to an amateur trader or to a trader who's just beginning, what would it be? Small positions. Mm -hmm. 
be happy with a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be fun to make profit in the first time mm -hmm. and uh, avoid big uh, contracts. Okay. How small the position? Uh, the, 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 aver the average can be uh, like all brokers are using, 10,000 or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, trade 10,000 if you have a $10,000 account. Right. Not 50 or 100,000. So no leverage? No. Uh, in the beginning, why, why sell you take the risk? Uh, you are winning in the market by uh, taking less risk. Okay, right. that, that's your winning uh, goal. Okay. Very, a big counterintuitive. No, they always say risk reward, but no. No in the beginning, but when, uh, when you feel better, you mm -hmm. can go a little more uh, leverage. Okay. Maybe uh, two or three, but uh, I use maximum four to five, mm -hmm. okay. not 100. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Ron Schelling, sir, thank you very much for your time. Thank it was you. a pleasure. We hope you will join us next time. Thank you very much. And that's all from all of us here at WebFG for today. Thank you very much for your time.